Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a playroom clean up and organize with me video. Basically my playroom needs some good cleaning and organizing. I am going to share with you once everything is put away and clean kind of how I keep this organized what I have in the bins, what's separated, that kind of stuff for you guys who are interested. Some of the toys that we have been playing with a lot during this quarantine. So if you're interested, then keep watching. So let's start off by just doing a big overview of what the current look of the playroom is. Not too bad, we have had it messier, but definitely more messy then I like to keep my playroom. So let's get into picking up everything. You know I want you close. Maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow I know you're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style. Sleeves rolled up, glasses on And then you make that smile And my heart starts racing When I'm with you So before Jackson wakes up and I get into the closet, I wanted to give you kind of a tour of everything that I have going on in the playroom. 
So this first thing here is from Target Dollar Spot. They have it around the school like August, September time. I got this like colorful paper clip kind of hanger. And that's where I hang up like all of Jackson's school crafts and things like that. So these are what he's made in preschool. So I kind of have them displayed kind of like refrigerator stuff just to kind of you know, display his cute this stuff. This basket is from Target as well. And I keep his blankets, extra blankets and stuff underneath. And then all of his stuffed animals are sitting on top of it. We don't kind of have too many stuffed animals now. So this is all that we have. And the ones that are in his room where he's currently sleeping. But I kind of like to display them. He'll come and hug them, take them out, things like that. But I think this is a good way to store it. Here's copper. Hey, bubba. So then you have our couches. I hide the remotes right underneath that pillow so Jackson doesn't always turn it off and we always keep a blanket over there. Coming around here is kind of Jackson's main station. So right here I have his Pottery Barn couch or chair. I do need to go ahead and take this cover off and wash it. Um, so if you guys do are interested in it, I'll link this chair down below. But if you see any on Facebook Marketplace, you can always buy it and then just buy a new cover from Pottery Barn. Um, I also have a little Target pillow that's a little heart here from Valentine's Day. And he has his little stuffed animal laying me right here. So I just kind of have that there for him. Moving on to kind of like our storage area for like majority of his toys that we play with in the playroom. Um, we have right here in between the organizer and his chair, this is the Melissa and Doug match and build blocks. These are soft blocks. So he's been playing with us since he was itty bitty. Now he's starting to say like what's on the blocks before and after, find the number, things like that. We love to build towers, kick them down. That's our favorite thing to do. So I like to have this easily accessible right there. This top shelf right here, I normally keep like our snacks, my water, um, since Jackson's taking a nap right now, I'll turn that down. Um, I have his baby monitor there, my phone, so this is kind of like our snack water area up top here. It is Easter in like two weeks, less than two weeks, so I pulled out his old um, Easter basket that he got from his grandparents last year, and I found some eggs, so we've been doing Easter egg hunts in the playroom. I'll go hide couch to 10 in the hallway, come in and I will have these hidden around the room if you will try and find them and collect them. So that's something really fun we've been doing lately. So I have that easily accessible up here, kind of decorative to once all of the snack cups and stuff gets put away for the end of the night. I don't know where these two tops are, but I have them stored up here right now. And then an old boom box, the cassette tapes don't work, but I do have a Kinder Music CD in there that he knows how to turn on, find his favorite songs, and he's good to go with that. So let's get into the bins here. We'll start off with this first bin, which is kind of like my puzzles miscellaneous bin. So in here I have his Magna Doodle, where he can draw and create different designs. He likes when mommy draws shapes, things like that. I have in here Melissa and Doug match and roll shape sorter that he loves to play with. I got this book, the mix and match book. So he likes to try and get all of the panda picture together and things like that. So this is something we've had for quite a while. I have, I got this from the Target dollar spot. These are the like felt barnyard they have a bunch of different felt activities so i keep the little creatures in a ziploc bag and then i have the felt board there i have some magnet doodle like little sketch designs in here and then target also has a lot of the kind of wooden toys this is like a stacking balance game so it comes, it's kind of like Noah's Ark. So it has a boat and a bunch of animals and he loves to balance them on the boat. When it falls down, he says, oh no. So I like, I like to keep that in a Ziploc bag to just kind of keep all the pieces together. And that is everything that is in this bin right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that together. 
so moving on to this next bin is kind of our seasonal books or our book kind of section so right now i have not this um to try and practice cutting paper this is the let's cut paper your child will develop fine motor skills it's for ages two and up my son just turned two so they have a bunch of different like pictures and you're supposed to cut on the gray line that's a little advanced for us i'm just going to work on just cutting scissors and we'll look at the pictures right now also in here i have a sticker book these are really great you can get them from the dollar tree and I love them. They have a bunch of different stickers, tells you what page to put it on. And I'm kind of amazed with how well he can put some of these stickers on their exact spaces. So we love sticker books. Then I have a noisy farm book. I love to have my noisy kind of stuff here, not in his bedroom. So we have a sworn noisy farm. And then it's like my Easter book. So we have Little Blue Truck Springtime, Cat the Bunny. I have an Itsy Bitsy Leprechaun. What else? Easter Surprise. This one's a really cute book that kind of goes through all the little Easter eggs and the Easter bunny. Where's Baby's Easter Egg? Easter, Easter Story. Peter Rabbit. Dads are Awesome, which is a cute dad book. And then right back here, I have these, which are his favorite to play with. These are flashcards and Jackson loves flashcards. He is so talkative, is able to say and speak so clearly, um, and we know exactly what he's saying, and I owe that a lot to reading books and these flashcards. So they are by DK, whatever that means. We have the My First Words, the Colors and Shapes, and we also have Animals. And he loves just kind of randomly picking one out. I'll be like, oh my gosh, what is that? And he'll say zebra, things like that. They also have questions you can ask on the back, like what is the name of the striped wild animal? What color are the stripes? Stroke the zebra's fur, how does it feel? And can you find another striped animal in this pack? Just random questions or like where does it live kind of thing that kind of gets your child thinking. So we love these, we play with these almost every day and I like to keep them easily accessible. Moving on to this next bin right here. And this one is completely full of cars. So we have various cars, trucks, trains, things like that that are in here. I also keep a little baggie of these like miniature cars. His car rack is over there that kind of goes back and forth, but I just kind of store all his cars in one of these big bins and just clean them up that way. Moving on to this next bin, it's kind of miscellaneous right now. I got this from the Target Dollar Spot. It's like an ABC tracing game. Right now we're just using it to point and say what it is, but it has a little tracer, but he was getting a little too dangerous with that using it as a weapon like most boy children do. But I have this in there for when we're ready for that. Then an old toy is the like hammer ball game. He doesn't play with that much. I'm going to leave it out in the open here to see if he'll play with it a little bit more. If he does, great. If not, I'm going to store it away for a potential baby too. And then this just kind of fit in my imaginative bin. But he is loving to play with his little bucket as well. So this next bin down below is my bin of like music activities things like that so i bought a big little kids parachute that we love to play with friends we also like to play it with daddy throw it up in the air he likes to sit on it have me drag it so we love that and then i have some random balls in here we have a toddler's musical instrument backpack and this is full of various toddler musical instruments that he loves to play any other like wooden sticks that we get from kinder music or music classes like that i like to throw in here as well and then and then we have a couple of like noisy toys he has a little phone in here he has some buttons that for a while he thought these actually worked to the TV, but he's gotten a lot smarter since then. But those are in there. Then we have some car keys in there. And then this is a pretty cool instrument that my parents got him from Cancun, Mexico. And you just kind of have a many hands like that, but he's sleeping, so I'm not gonna do that too much. But I like to keep, like I said, all the musical instruments, musical toys and stuff in here for 
when we want to do that kind of stuff. This next thing right here, I have one of his toys. This is the Turn and Learn Driver toy. And when it's on, you can hit all the different buttons, beep the horn, do the windshield wipers, that kind of stuff. So he likes this toy. I like to put it out so it's easily accessible for him right there. And this next bin is what I said was the imaginative bin. So in this bin, there's a bunch of different things that he can do. Um, right now, these are just kind of kitchen appliances or not kitchen appliance, kitchen tools. Um, this is a whisk that I got from the top Target dollar spot around Valentine's Day. I have a big spoon in here, a tablespoon in here, and this is just one of those like mixing bowls for your kitchen. He loves to pretend to mix stuff, but the next drawer, you'll see all the little bear, colorful bears, like to make bear soup, things like that. So I have that in there. He has a lightsaber in here. He knows how to turn it on. He likes to go vroom, vroom with it, things like that. So that is in here. Then we have a bunch of like little silly hats and things like that that we have. We have fox ears, we have Minnie Mouse ears, bunny ears for Easter. Also got some Mickey Mouse ears from a friend's son's birthday party. Then we have in here, we also have a little banana. This came from a Halloween costume. Some monster dinosaur puppets are in there. We have some finger puppets. These are various like Christmas ones and like a monkey one we got from one of his uncles. That is in a little Ziploc bag to keep those together. And then in this box, I got this box from the Target Dollar Tree. And in here I have his things that go with his cars and trains. So some of this stuff will go with those toys. So I wanted to just kind of keep them separately so he could play with them if he wanted to, but I know where they are when he gets those kind of stuff. This next drawer is where the bear needs to go. And I just got this from him during this quarantine. He's been obsessed loving it. This is the Schoolsies bears and they are a bunch of different colored bears and they have the cups. There's also tongs, which I don't know where the tongs are, but I just kind of keep them in here. Really, these have been all over my house recently. He has been loving them. He also loves wearing this bag and calling it his backpack. So we love these. It's definitely been a fun game to put the different colors and you make bear soup, things like that. So I'll leave that down below. And we also have this Winnie the Pooh bear. This is a block counter, so you can count along. He'll ask you questions. It has like a little tracker right here. So when you put the blocks inside, it counts, and he'll be like, give me five blocks, and Jackson have to put five blocks in here. So this was kind of a fun toy that we found. And then this last thing right here is a busy car book. In the car bin, there's a little car that kind of will go along the track of this book, and it's really fun. He likes to catch it and squish the car, things like that. So that is in here because it cannot fit in my books. I have that figured out. So well. moving on to kind of this little corner section, I have his Dyson vacuum cleaner. He knows where it is. Whenever I get my vacuum cleaner, he loves to grab that. We have an old little baby table I would call it a baby table because Jackson's not interested anymore so that will probably get put up very soon too he also has a ball and a balloon we like to play with and then this is that car track for those little cars that we like to play with some of y'all may be like why do you have a mirror in front of your tv so the reason we have this and it's we've had this here ever since Jackson started to crawl it has deterred him from wanting to get into the drawers and stuff in underneath our TV. So we have this here because he'd rather look at himself, wave at himself, things like that. He doesn't move this mirror whatsoever. If he starts doing it, then I will move it. But right now it's working best for us. So I have that there. And if you guys are interested, we have an Xbox here. I turned sideways because he was putting his fingers in there. So it is less distracting for him if it's turned sideways. Same with our VHS DVD player. So in here, I just have a bunch of random old DVDs that I used to watch. We don't really anymore since we have Hulu, Netflix, and all that. Here is some more kind of DVDs, game controllers, things like that. 
nothing in there. And then this is like my kids' DVDs and Christmas movies, things like that. So we don't typically go in there too often, but I do have it still and it's pretty organized. Moving into this next section, we have a busy block. He doesn't do too much with this busy block right now. Um, he used to do more when he was actually a itty bitty baby. Um, but I do, I do still have this here if he's interested in playing. Um, maybe we'll play with it later today or something, I don't know. We have a little, I think that's a VTech train and it has puzzle pieces. You can put the puzzles and blocks into the train. I'll say kind of what it is. This next thing was a Facebook marketplace like purchase. I don't think they sell this exact one anymore, but it is a Disney Mickey Mouse tent. He is obsessed with this. He loves to go in it and play hide and seek. This actually was the first thing that gave him courage to walk on his own. He just kind of came out through the curtains and started walking. So this will be saved for years. Um, I know he'll get good use out of it even when he's older. Um, I can fit in there. I'm not going to in this video, but I can. Right now I have a, a gigantic Pooh Bear. I don't know if you can see him. Pooh Bear back there. But we do love to have this tent. Something fun for the playroom. Over in this corner we have a little firehouse. I guess they're little tykes. Little thing he got from his great grandparents. So we have that section over there. It makes some siren noises, things like that. So he loves that. And then up above we have a Mickey Mouse clock. I don't really remember where I got this. I think my mom found this. So I will see if I can find it anywhere. But his little ticker tail counts the seconds and stuff like that, which is cute. So last little wall, I have some Disney pictures and his whoop gender reveal picture and all of our guesses kind of right there. And then he got this for Christmas from his grandparents. This is a little tight slide you can hide underneath right in there. He likes to take his cars down the slide, slide down, take his stuffed animals, things like that. So that is that. So the next thing that I have to do that I've been dreading to do, this has been pretty organized like this for quite a while. It's very easy to maintain and do and stuff that way the closet that I need to work on so I'm gonna work on it a little bit while he's taking a nap and kind of share with you guys so let's get into see what it's looking like right now and I do apologize there's no light or anything inside here so currently right now this is the top shelf we have I have found this Melissa and Doug puzzle organizer it's been working pretty well for our puzzles um, so that is pretty organized but it's moving on into like the random stuff I need to go through some of these boxes some of these bins I've just kind of threw stuff in I have a lot of like arts and crafts stuff in these two bins but that can definitely get more organized and then we have some random blankets his Lego box things like that and then just random stuff like this needs to really go somewhere else I don't think it should be in the playroom so let's work on this a little bit and see what I can do and then told me you believe in something and you said you're done pretending that fate is patient go run away get it out of your system come back when you're older go find a place where you can't be the victim Okay, so going through this real quick and taking a bunch of stuff out that I already automatically know. 
um, that I need to do. So right now I have a little clock that we found in an antique store. All of our puzzles. This is a little Target Christmas dollar spot, like puzzle sorting. Our puzzles. Then I have some bowling pins. We currently were playing that today. You saw earlier, so I have that going. Right here is a box of Xbox games from my husband, so I have that there. His Lego box with all his Legos in it. And here is like outdoor stuff, so I have an outdoor blanket, a pool floaty right there. And then the blankets are folded, and that's like an outdoor beach blanket as well. Down here is a box of books I really need to sort through and get through, but right now it's fine like that. So that is the current look of what it looks like now. You can see right here I have some things I need to get to. So these are two bins that have like art supplies things in there and then a miscellaneous box I'm going to sort through. Then I have taken out some other stuff. This is like baby stuff that I can probably put away in the attic. I have my workout stuff in a different room so I'm going to put those away. And then this is some random stuff I need to put away too and then trash. So Let's get into figuring all this out. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it And I promise that I I will stand by you forever I can't get you out of my mind I will follow you wherever And I won't waste it I'll follow you, yeah I'll follow you, yeah now cause I don't wanna slow this down My heart is screaming out your name I'm wasted on you Here we are right underneath the stars So let's get a little reckless You make me breathless And I won't waste this And I promise that I said I I will stand by you forever and I won't waste it figured out what I'm going to be doing with these bins. So this first bin that is the tan color, this is stuff that I hang up and kind of decorate seasonally for in the playroom. So I have some Christmas lights, I have a fan in here, I have some star lights, things like that. I like to kind of dress up downstairs in the playroom so that will be in there. This is kind of like our crayon coloring sticker grouping I guess of arts and crafts so I have some coloring books here 
I have the Mickey Mouse. I love these Crayola Color Wonder Mess Free. These are markers that he can color with. They don't get on my carpet. They don't get on his clothes. They don't get on anything else but this paper. So I love this. And I keep it in an easy bag that he likes to take in and out of. I also have a whole bunch of stickers in this as well. And then I have some crayons in this crayon box right there. So that is what is in this kind of bin organized pretty neatly. So in this next one, this is more of like the advanced arts and crafts stuff going on. So I have on here, this is a apron for kids for when they're painting, doing any arts and crafts. You can see there's like paint marks and stuff on it. So I like to roll that up, put that in here. Also have some fabric markers in here. Have some tape in here. I have some, these are, what are these called? plastic paint tray palette so they have little holes so you can put the different colored paints in there for your child this will be an activity for us either today or tomorrow depending on when he wakes up this is a little easel and it has kind of like easter bunny things on it got this from the dollar tree before all this craziness happened and then i have a box of glue and i have some wood glue as well have some felt from a previous project in here and then this is our paint currently right now so a lot of pinks reds and whites i did like a valentine's day craft got a lot of pinks reds and whites and then i have a purple and another pink in here and some paint brushes so we don't have too many paints right now um i also have the little thing that it came with the Dollar Tree, but this is kind of all I have currently. That's enough for my toddler. He doesn't know all the different colors that he can have yet. So that's what's in this one. So I'm gonna go ahead, put these away in the closet, and I'm pretty much good to and go. And that is what it looks like when it is all finished. Really happy with my progress and kind of the organization of what's going in there. Again, those are books that I used to read. I'll have to go through that later but not in this toddler playroom video thank you guys so much for watching this video with me and cleaning along with me i hope i give you guys some ideas to do with your toddler during this time or cleaning organizing your playrooms or play areas with your little toddler as well so thank you guys again so much for watching i'll link two videos down below for you who are interested in seeing more from me and i'll talk to you in my next one bye